Ever wondered why Montana, known as the Big Sky Country, is so sparsely populated? Well, let's dive right in. Nestled in the heart of the United States, Montana is a state that commands attention. It's vast, it's wild, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. They call it the Big Sky Country, and for good reason. The sky here seems to stretch on forever, a canvas of blue that's as limitless as your imagination. But here's something that might surprise you. Despite being the fourth largest state in the United States, Montana has fewer people than you might expect. Picture this. Montana Montana is almost as big as Japan, but while Japan is home to over 125 million people, Montana has barely over a million. That's less than the population of Rhode Island, which is about 40 times smaller. For a state that's the fourth largest in the U.S., it's fascinating that it's the eighth least populous. Why is that? Welcome to the Montana Paradox, where the land is vast, but the people are few. Montana, often referred to as the last best place, is a vast stretch of stunning landscapes. Imagine a place where the north northern lights dance in the sky, where the rocky mountains touch the heavens, and where prairies stretch as far as the eye can see. It's a place where grizzly bears, wolves and herds of elk roam free, and where the Yellowstone River, the longest free-flowing river in the contiguous United States, winds its way through the heartland. Yet, for all its natural beauty and diverse wildlife, Montana is one of the least populated states in the U.S., with just about a million people spread across more than 140,000 square miles. It has one of the lowest population densities in the country. To put that into perspective, it's like having less than seven people for every square mile. That's quite a contrast to a place like New Jersey, the most densely populated state where you've got over a thousand folks crammed into the same space. So what does this low population density mean for Montana? On one hand, it means more room to breathe, more open spaces and less traffic. But on the other hand, it also means fewer opportunities for social interaction, fewer amenities and longer distances to travel for basic necessities. It's a bit of a catch-22 situation, isn't it? However, this paradox isn't merely an abstract concept. It has real-world implications for the state's economy, infrastructure, and even its culture. For instance, a sparse population can limit economic growth, strain healthcare and education resources, and even impact the sense of community among residents. But let's not forget, Montana's not just about the numbers. It's about the experience, the feeling of standing under the big sky, the thrill of spotting a grizzly in the wild, the sense of peace in the vast open spaces. So what keeps people away from this scenic paradise? Let's delve deeper in the next segment. One word, isolation. Now don't get me wrong, isolation isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it's part of what makes Montana so darn special. But when it comes to population, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Think about it. Montana is the fourth largest state in the U.S., right? But where are all the people? Well, they're spread out. Very spread out. Montana's got this vast, expansive landscape that's more suited to roaming buffalo than bustling city life. The state's largest city, Billings, has a population less than the seating capacity of some football stadiums. You see, Montana's geographical location doesn't exactly lend itself to urban sprawl. Nestled up there in the northwest corner of the country, it's a bit out of the way, and being out of the way means being far from many of the amenities and conveniences folks in more populated states take for granted. Don't have a gallon of milk in the fridge? In some parts of Montana, that could mean a two-hour round trip to the nearest grocery store. And let's not even get started on how long it takes to get to a major airport or hospital. Without major urban centers, the population remains low. People tend to congregate where there are jobs, services, and entertainment. And while Montana has its fair share of natural beauty and outdoor recreation, it's lacking in the kind of infrastructure that tends to draw crowds. But here's the thing. The folks who call Montana home wouldn't have it any other way. They cherish the isolation, the wide open spaces, the unhurried pace of life. They've traded high-rise buildings for towering mountains, traffic jams for wildlife encounters, and they're perfectly happy with that swap. So, yeah, Montana's isolation contributes to its low population. It's not for everyone, but for those who love it, it's a slice of paradise. Yes, the isolation is beautiful, but it also makes Montana a tough sell for some. Let's look at this from an economic perspective. Montana, known as the treasure state, relies heavily on its natural resources. The state's economy springs from its rich soil and the bounty beneath its rugged terrain. Agriculture is a major player here, with wheat farming and ranching leading the charge. It's a hard but honest living, but it's not exactly the glamorous city life that some folks are after. Now you might be thinking, what about mining? Yes, you're right. Montana's got a long history with mining. Gold, coal, and talc have all been extracted from the state's earthy depths. But as we all know, these resources don't last forever. 
and the mining industry has seen its share of booms and busts. It's a risky business that has led to job insecurity and population fluctuations. Speaking of jobs, let's talk about the job market. The employment opportunities in Montana are quite different from those in bustling cities. Here it's more about working with your hands, being in the great outdoors, and contributing to the local economy. It's less about corporate ladders and more about communal sustainability. Montana's economic growth has been relatively slow compared to other states. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that high-paying job opportunities are somewhat limited. And let's be real, not everyone is cut out for the physical labor that comes with farming or mining. It's not about the size of the paycheck, but the quality of life, right? While Montana offers a serene life, economically, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. And then there's the weather. Montana, known for its breathtaking landscapes, is also infamous for its harsh winters. The cold season in Montana isn't your typical winter wonderland. It's a relentless bone-chilling cold that lingers often starting as early as October and sometimes persisting until May. Sure, there's a certain charm to it, the snow-covered mountains, the crisp winter air, the quiet solitude, but it's not for the faint of heart. The average temperature in Montana during winter hovers around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's not uncommon for it to plunge well below zero. But it's not just the freezing temperatures that make Montana's winters challenging, it's the snow lots and lots of snow. Montana sees an average of 70 inches of snowfall every year. That's almost six feet of snow. Imagine that. And in the mountainous regions, it's not unusual for snowfall to exceed 100 inches. Living in such conditions requires resilience, preparation, and a certain love for the cold. It's a far cry from the mild winters of California or the sunny skies of Florida. The brutal winters often result in roads being blocked, schools being closed, and daily routines disrupted. But don't mistake this for a complaint, Montanans take pride in their ability to endure the harsh winters. They're a tough breed, these folks. And for them, the cold is part of the state's charm. It's a test of endurance, a badge of honor. In fact, some people even thrive in it. They take to the slopes, engage in winter sports, and find joy in the pristine white landscapes. But let's admit it, it's not everyone's cup of tea. So, the weather in Montana plays a significant role in keeping its population density low. The harsh winters are not just a season, but a lifestyle, a commitment. It demands resilience, patience, and a certain love for the cold. Living in Montana means embracing the cold. And that's not something everyone is ready to do. Putting it all together, we can see why Montana remains less populated. It's a complex puzzle with pieces that include geographical isolation, economic factors, and harsh weather conditions. The state's vast expanses make it one of the most sparsely populated regions in the United States. This isolation, while offering stunning natural beauty and serene tranquility, also means fewer job opportunities and limited access to amenities. Economically speaking, Montana's reliance on industries like agriculture and mining may not appeal to those seeking careers in tech or finance. And let's not forget the weather. With winters that can be brutally cold and long, it's no wonder that many are reluctant to call Montana home. Yet despite these challenges, there's an undeniable charm to Montana. A charm that's deeply embedded in its wide open spaces, its majestic mountains, and its clear, star-filled skies. Montana, with its breathtaking landscapes and tranquil life, is certainly not for everyone. But for those who call it home, it's nothing short of a paradise.